Hello. We're, We're live. live. <laughs> <laughs> we we should have had some drums, <laughs> some sticks. No. no. Angie B. 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 Where you be? She said. <laughs> what you doing, Angie? I'm making a little. Oh. <laughs> I'm Karen. I'm Pamela. And I'm Angie B. Hello. Welcome to Let's, Let's Talk. Talk. We are the Golden Girls. Yes, I am yeah. Pam. I'm Karen. And Miss Angie B, she is out today. Yes, she is. Um, continue to lift her and her, Angie and her family up in prayer. Uh, she lost her mother. Yes. And um, just continue to pray for that family. Pray for the family. They really need your prayers. We yeah. love you. We miss you, Angie. And um, we are waiting for you to come back when you get here. Yes. Don't rush. No. We'll be here. We'll be here. Waiting on you. And your spot will always be here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> yes. So, you right. would you like to get to the topics? Yes. Today, we're going to talk about our national days for the month of September. And we're going to do um, our birthday shout out. We're going to do some current events. And we're just going to talk about a, a different way to celebrate for Thanksgiving this year. So we have a lot in store for you. So with that being said, are you ready to get started? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, today is, well, this month is National Family Caregivers Month. Yes. So there are so many caregivers that I know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that um, I like to mention. Oh, okay. If I may. Yes, you may. Starting with you. Oh. Yes. Oh, me? Are in prayer. Oh, my goodness. That's a caregiver. It's a yes. caregiver. Yes. yes. It yes. is a caregiver. And um, my daughter, Shapri, yes. she is a pharmacy technician. Yes. She hands out uh, medications. And that takes care of people. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. It takes care of it people. It really do. There's my niece, Tamara, yes. who was accepted into nursing school. Yay. Congratulations, Tamara. Congratulations. So proud of you. Follow so proud of you. Steps. Yes, she is. She's following in her mother's <laughs> yes, footsteps. Yes, she is. She yes, is. she is. There are so many. And my um, daughter-in-law, Fallon, yes. she is a registered nurse, and she's in Covington, Georgia. Yes. Yes, there's so many caregivers. So I'm just going to say thank you to all of the caregivers. Yes. All of the all caregivers. All of our caregivers. Yes. We really need you. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And um, wouldn't trade you for the world. What you're doing sure is it. essential. Yes, it is. And it's definitely necessary. Yes. So thank you to all of our caregivers. caregivers. Yes. And if you know a caregiver, how about taking them some lunch? Just spending some time with them or give them a break for a few minutes and just yes. sit there for about an hour, 30 minutes. Say, I want you to go rest. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to relieve you for this one day or once a week or whatever whatever you can do. Just do it. I'm caregiving myself. Somebody going to give me a break. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need some break. We all need a break. I tell you. Yeah. Hmm. So thank you, thank you to our caregivers. Thank you to you. Oh, thank you. Yay, yay, yay. Yes. yes you know what? Yes. Now, what is GERD awareness? GERD awareness is what people will call like a reflux. Like acid reflux? Like an acid reflux, you okay. can say. It's basically when the esophagus that's attached to the stomach and the muscle get weak and the food, you know, don't stay um, down or you know it backs up it's like an overflow but basically it's some things you can do to prevent it like don't lay down after you, mean, you eat, after you eat? Mm -hmm. for how long i would say an hour they say 30 minutes i said an hour okay and and nothing i'm gonna add is you know don't eat after a certain time okay don't eat after like i try not to eat after six so, you know, if you know you go to bed at eight, try to eat at six and then sit up for those two hours and you shouldn't have no problem because your food should be almost in a digesting process. Okay. And it's the belching, you know, you can take antacids, okay. you know, Nexium, Prolisex, and sometimes Tums, it may work. And that might help the um, food from backing up or that burning sensation you have yeah. in your throat. That might help, help that. Sometimes you take it before about an hour or two before you eat 
and that will really alleviate some of the um, symptoms that you may have with that. So, so I, mean, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If you take the Aleve or uh, not Aleve, um, the acid reflux medication, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. say if you take that prior to eating, can you eat a little bit later? Because six o'clock is unrealistic for me. Eating? Dinner at six o'clock. Yeah, well, because when I get home, it's about six o'clock and I have to right. wind down. Oh. So um, let's say about seven. So if you take your pill in advance, yeah, that should help. Okay. That should help. And I would say too, some people like to drink and eat. Yeah. And stuff. And that, and that probably cause some unnecessary reflux too. And I feel like if you sip and eat and then you try to drink, you drink later, but just don't drink. What do you mean? Drink you know, just drink like soda water, or water, water, whatever you're drinking with your meal. Some people like the glup and chomp, eat, eat so much. And then that will cause something to be overfilled with all that water oh. or that fluid. Oh. And then when you lay down, then all you feel all that back, all that bubbly, all that, bubbly, all that belching, and all it's getting ready to come. Yeah, but like you Out. got to throw up. Yes. Yeah. So if you know, what time do you go to bed? I get in bed probably at about um, between eight thirty and nine. Well, what time do you eat? Um, now it's about um, maybe seven. Seven, you go to bed mm -hmm. about nine, so you should be going to bed. If you eat around seven, go to bed at nine. Sit up in your recliner, put your feet and watch TV, or just sleep in a recliner or with your feet up for about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, I'll say at least two hours and then lay down. Good, I'll try it. Yeah, you can try that. You can try it. It's just certain things that we can do and you can do to prevent that feeling. Okay, it's, it's and um, instead of leaning over. And just feeling for my Pepto Bismol tablets and just chunking them in my face and going back to sleep. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what you do. That's what I do sometimes when I get that heartburn or yeah. acid reflux on the side of the bed or in my pocketbook. It's crazy. I, sometimes I would just lean down, eyes closed, and oh feeling in my pocketbook until I, yeah, until <laughs> I find the um, Pepto Bismol tablet. <laughs> Put it in my mouth and go right back to oh, sleep. Oh my goodness! Yeah. No. So now that I know better, I'll do better. Yeah. Try sitting up for a while after you eat, or you say you can't eat early, but you can't sit up for about an hour and a half. They said thirty minutes, an hour. I say an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Two hours. Sit up for that length of time. That give your food time to start digesting. Yeah, we try try to let me know how it works. These I'll little suggestions. I will do that. Yes. Okay. You know what today is? What is? Today is World Television Day. Oh. It is. So, what is your favorite television show? Ooh, I have so many. My favorite television show, I, I love Married at First Sight. Really? You, you, you don't like that? I watched it a couple oh, of times. It's something I... I, mm -mm. I, I love that show from the... I, I found it by mistake years and years ago. And I'm like, what is this? So I started watching it. And ever since then, I've been watching it. It's been off for 11 years. Has it? Yes. 11 shows, 11 seasons. And I also like The Amazing Race. Well, I knew that was one of your favorite yes, shows. Yes, I love The Amazing Race. I do. Um, I always want to be on the show. I was trying to get me yes. and you to pair up, but I don't think that would work. Let me tell you something. I'm not going on nobody helicopter. See, that won't work. I am not jumping off of things. Oh, I cannot swim, goodness. so they're going to have to cut me out of that one right there. She can go ahead and swim. I'm not climbing up that no good. rocks. I cannot communicate with people who don't speak the same language as me, as me and that's terrible because she I will watch not it. be a good partner, so we're going to <laughs> no way I need somebody the opposite of me who's not scared of height who's not scared of climbing who's not scared to swim I can do the in between stuff you're not afraid of heights so I'm you can afraid do of that. heights I can't do that I can't Karen, well, we went to um, Arizona and we mm. drove up that mountain to go to I Sedona was scared. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't handle the choice I couldn't turn around so I, I was petrified off. yes she was I so. laid in that back seat <laughs> She was a mess. I didn't want them to talk. <laughs> she surely did. That and was then so you remember funny. Steffi said, I'll drop my like, uh-uh, not with you that soggy leg saying, <laughs> yeah. you're going to drive somewhere, uh-uh. Run me off a cliff. No. That you was stay so right there. funny. 
me. Mm-mm. Oh Mm-mm. my goodness. So we know we. I can't use her. I have to use somebody total opposite. In my last show that I love to watch is Project Runway. Now I love. Pro- is it still on? It's, I think so. It came on last year, but I'm. A, I've been checking to see if it's on now. It should be about ready to come back on. Isn't it amazing how they can just take yes. what they have and create something so beautiful? It's yes. a gift. You can sew. I can sew, but I just don't use my gift. You need to use it. I know. You need to use it. So what is, what's your favorite show? Well, I like comedies. And um, oh. yeah, I like comedies. Um, my favorite show is no longer on, um, probably in syndication, was The Cosby Show. Oh. On Thursdays, years ago, yeah. um, it started off with, what, I think A Different World. Right. Um, I think The Cosby Show. There was mm-hmm. Cheers. Um, you just watch all those? I would watch all of those. All of those. You never watch Cheers. Yeah, but now um, I'm into game shows. Ooh. And so um, each day when I get home, mm-hmm. um, Larry record The Price is Right. Uh-huh. And now everything is different now as a result of COVID. Right. And they're working really hard to keep things as normal as possible. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Um, I like The Price is Right. Mm-hmm. I like Family Feud. Mm-hmm. And I like Let's Make a Deal. I like watching that. And of course, I like my news shows as well. You didn't say the show. I thought you was going to say. Did you know Supermarket Sweep was back on? I, I didn't huh? watch that. That was you. Oh, was well, you and Mom. That's my show too. Yeah. I'm watching that. It's back on with Jess. What's her name? It's She's a comedian. I don't remember her name. Leslie. Oh, Leslie the Comedian. She played in um, um I think Ghostbusters? I don't know. I never watched Ghostbusters. <laughs> but yeah, I love game show. I thought you was going to say that. No, that was you. Oh, and Card Shark. I can go on and on. Card Shark? You like Card Shark? Yeah. Oh my. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, that, now listen. That's back on. I like also Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. And Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Jeopardy is too much for me, but I can do it. I like. I might get one answer right. I get a couple. <laughs> the whole show. I, I, I get. I get a couple. Oh I get a couple. my goodness! Yeah, I get a couple. Yes. Yeah. So those. You, so you mainly like game shows, game shows and the news and the news. Mm-hmm. So your TV don't come on much at all, like mine's. It's on, um, but it's on the news, oh. or at a certain time, certain point in time, it's game shows. Um. Mm. And then if I want to watch a movie, um, my movies, um, of course, Black Panther. Oh, she watched Black Panther every week. And it watches me, too. <laughs> every I fall asleep week watching she watched Black Panther. Yeah. Oh, yes. my goodness. And you know what tomorrow is? No, what is it? Tomorrow is Go For a Ride Day. Oh, my favorite thing to oh, do. Oh, you remember when Daddy used to take us yes, for rides? Yes, that's probably why I like it to mm-hmm. this day. Mm-hmm. And we would tag each other. Well... If we yes. see cars go by, that's my car. Yes. That's my car. Yes. That's my car. And you get upset when you get the ugly car. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I love going for a ride. Yeah. I tell you, if I can't get Richard to give me, take me for a ride, mm-hmm. me, I go and I get into my car and just drive myself. Yeah. But I'd rather be the passenger instead yes. of the driver. Instead, it's just yeah. something different about just going for a ride. It's very relaxing. Yes. So yes. I think I'm going to um, go for a ride tomorrow. I am going for a ride and tomorrow. Today. Yeah, today I'm going for a ride yes indeed. i mean just a ride i mean yes. destination nowhere just nowhere. have a good time just mm-hmm. relax mm-hmm. cut on some music mm-hmm. and just ride just ride just ride, just ride. Yeah. So i like that mm-hmm. get my ride in today you gonna get it in tomorrow. today yeah and will you watch tv when you get home i don't cut my tv on unless i'm I go on demand to watch my shows. Oh, okay. Because I miss it. So I just catch it on demand. Well, see, Larry, what he does, he um, records the show. Mm-hmm. Now, um, World Television Day, yes. that's every day for him. Yes. Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, yes. Andy Griffith. Oh, still? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> still. Beverly Hillbillies, oh, Andy Griffith. Oh, um, uh, What, Sanford and Son. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he watched all of that. There's some oh. other ones. Gomer Pyle, USMC. Oh, wow. 
He watched all of that, and he's sitting there and laughed like he's never watched never it before. Never watched it before. No, mm-hmm. not him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And what about the cartoon he liked? He liked, um, is it Bugs yeah. Bunny? Yeah. No, Ro- well, Road I Runner. Love Road Runner. He liked Pink Panther. Oh, I never liked that show. I never liked it either. I don't. Mm. I, I, can't, I can't understand it. No. I guess I have to watch it to see what makes it so funny. Pink Panther don't talk. He don't talk. No. What it's, is the Pink the Panther? Nurse, I mean, that show is solid, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. I, th- I think it's a silent show. You just laugh at what they do. That shows you how much we watched it. <laughs> I never watched it. I now, tried. Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Flintstones were my favorite. Simity Sam. Yeah, I remember Simity Sam. Yeah. I do. I Simity do. Sam throwing out them words. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Simity <laughs> Sam was cursing back in the day. Yes. <laughs> and he was violent. Oh, but he yeah, was violent. he had an attitude. He problem. had an attitude. <laughs> That's yeah. what he had. Simony, mm-hmm. what you said, Simony Sam. Simony Sam had an attitude problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh he did. my goodness. Yes, he did. So, yes. As you can tell, we love television. I do. I do. Love television. I sure do. So we're gonna move right along. Yes. So what's what's next, Karen? Birthday shout outs. Oh, the birthday shout out. Okay. Our November babies, and we did not forget about you. And so you. we are going to give you, and you, whoever you are, a shout out for your birthday. Yes. Our November babies. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to start with Ari. Arianda. Arianda. Yeah. Arianda, our grand niece. Yes. Happy yes. birthday, Ari. Happy birthday. Happy and then birthday. our grand <laughs> grand nephew. Uh huh. All mixed up. Nicholas. Nicholas. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, Nicholas. Jamie Jr. Oh, uh-huh. happy birthday, Jamie Jr. And my niece Alexis. Happy birthday, Alexis. Alexis. I was about to say <laughs> Alexis. About to jack up your name, <laughs> Alexis. Yes. And our cousin Renee. Her birthday is today. Happy birthday, Renee. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And my niece Kim. Roundtree. Oh, happy birthday, mm-hmm. Kim. Happy birthday. And also, it, there's many other birthdays, but last and definitely not least. Who birthday? Her birthday. It was her birthday when? November 17th. Aunt Barbran. She's November 17th? She's a November birthday. Oh, happy Aunt birthday, Aunt Barbran. Ooh, goodness happy gracious. birthday. But we're talking about me right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we gonna do you wanna sing? Even though it's your birthday, was your birthday. I mean we could sing a little quick version of Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Where are you, to Angie? Ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Where ya. are you, Angie? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday Thank happy you. birthday to me yeah. and you yeah. happy birthday happy birthday thank you thank you happy birthday thank you thank yes, you yes i hope you all enjoyed your birthday well i had a wonderful birthday i know I you had did a wonderful birthday yes um you all probably see um i don't have anything on my finger you surely don't no i don't the uh-huh. ring is gone you it's gone get it sized I woke up at about five o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. on my birthday mm-hmm. and Larry stayed in the bed until um, maybe 45 minutes before it's time for him to go to work. Oh, gee. That's and efficient. so, yeah. And so um, he actually got up with me mm-hmm. and he said, Pam, it's your birthday. And I know, um, well, watching TV and watching movies, you remember, um, uh, what is it? Coming to America. Mm-hmm. And when Eddie Murphy, well, the prince, I forget the character's name. Simi. Simi? Yes. No. No. Well, Eddie Murphy was the prince. Right. And um, he was awakened and he said, the guy said, happy birthday. And he said, yes, it is my birthday. <laughs> and so that's what I said. I'm like, yes, it is my birthday. So he said, go into the kitchen and get your gift. And so I went in there and he said, it's right by the um, by the stove. Mm-hmm. So I looked and I saw this bag. Um, 
from K Jewelers, mm -hmm. you know, but um, I get jewelry from K Jewelers um, from Larry, you know, I wouldn't say quite often, but for special days. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it was a bracelet or a necklace um, or something because my ears aren't pierced. So I open it up and I'm like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful wedding band, a beautiful oh, wedding band. Wow. And I'm like, dang. <laughs> That's all I can say. And then he said, well, I, I have something else. Uh -huh. And so he went into his man cave and he came out with another bag. And I'm like, I have some more play. Oh, my. So he showed me he has a wedding oh. band. So if you all don't know the story, Mr. Roundtree, uh, I think he was allergic to wearing wedding bands. Oh, yes. Um, but now he has one. Oh. And so that was a beautiful birthday gift. Yes. Um, we had to have them sized. That's oh. why. And I took the other one off and put the one that he got me on. Mm -hmm. And I snatched it so hard, it ripped my skin. Ooh, and um, I had to take the other one off oh, because it was heal? open. Yeah, right. to heal. So that's why I don't have anything oh, on right now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and I got some beautiful um, gift cards, oh. um, dinner. Wow. I um we ended it up with going on the porch to eat dinner. Oh wow. Um outside. I always wanted to eat outside. Yeah. But Larry, I wanna go outside. Here. <laughs> and so when I got home from work, he said, um, we're gonna go outside. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So he had the table set and um the DVD player out there, and oh, of wow. course we watched Black Panther. Oh my Oh, they watch Black Panther every week. You hear me? Oh, it's like every other day. <laughs> Dang. That's right. Woo, goodness. Right. Black Panther fanatics. Wakanda forever. <laughs> I see that. Forever and forever. ever and ever. That's right. Forever. You hear me? Forever and ever. Never. And ever. All right. So that's how my birthday was spent. Of course, I um I went to work and um you know, came home and just I had a wonderful time and awesome. I continue to get gifts. I just got a beautiful yeah. gift. Cause I couldn't make it out here. I was working too hard. I was, couldn't make it out here. I mean, we worked 40 hours in three days. But so, <laughs> <laughs> so when I did take a day off, Ooh. I couldn't do it. I had to stay in the house until mm. I recuperated. Yeah, and you're still recuperating. I am. Mm. Still well, recuperating. Time, but I'm, I'm making it. But it was a, a, a beautiful birthday. It's awesome. A beautiful That's birthday. Awesome. And I thank everyone for the birthday wishes. Yes. Yes. I thank everyone. Thank for you, it. everybody. Thank you. And happy birthday. And I hope you all had an awesome birthday just as well as she did. Mm -hmm. All I right. Did. I did. Now we're going to get on to our current event. Okay. So, our local Thanksgiving meal giveaways. Um, we have a lot of giveaways going on in Chatham County, mm -hmm. but it was too much to to announce too much. today. When I looked at that, I'm like, Karen. Well, I meant to summarize it, but I just didn't. I said I'll that summarize it later. Summarized. I summarize <laughs> it. Well, tell her what you said. Tell okay. her how you summarize. Visit it. wsav.com. That's right. <laughs> and you for an extensive list of yes. places where you can go. Yes. WSAV.com. WSAV.com. That's how I summarized it. That was the best. She had about four pages. It wasn't four. Oh my. Three? Oh, I don't know, but it was a lot. And I meant to just chop, chop, chop. And I didn't feel like chop, chop, chop. It was a lot, but it was a good it thing. It was. It was. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. The way people are gathering together and, yes. and joining in with each other to yes. make this day, to make Thanksgiving Day special. And make it special. For those, because there's so many people who are in need. Yes, it so is. So many people are in yes, need. Yes, it is. And so if you go to WSAV.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, click on that link, uh, which will be Local Thanksgiving Meals Giveaway. You will find so many places, so many people that are mm -hmm. helping others. And right. it's all about helping others. Yes, it is. I mean, we shouldn't wait life. until the holidays. We should yeah. help them always every day because mm -hmm. this homeless population is growing. It's growing. It is really growing. Yeah, it's growing. So whenever you can, help somebody. Mm -hmm. If it's a dollar, whatever you can give. Yeah. If it's just a meal, whatever you can do. And just... if you can drop something off to the food banks, mm -hmm. you know, do that. You know, some just can whatever you can do year round. Yeah. Year round, really. Yeah. And what is our other local, I mean, our other current event? You have one? We have another current event? Yeah. And what is that? I don't know. Well, <laughs> this is... <laughs> 
You know what? Oh, goodness. Uh, here's some dates to remember. Mm-hmm. And it's in reference to voting. Okay. We have to do it again. We have to get out there again. Yes. yes. This one is for the Senate. And it's for Georgia. Now, Georgia voters will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate mm. in two January runoff elections. Oh. There's two runoff elections. There is um, Purdue uh, and uh, who was Purdue going? And Ansoff. Purdue and Ansoff. Purdue and Ansoff. Mm-hmm. And then there's Leffler, Kelly Leffler. Kelly Leffler. And Warnock. Warnock. So you vote for one or the Warnock other. Or the other. Now the following are key dates for the Senate runoff in Georgia. November 18th, the absentee ballots began to um, go out. So mm-hmm. you can request an absentee ballot absentee now ballot. and they will send it to you. December 7th is the deadline to register. Mm-hmm. December 14th, early in voting person begins. Mm. What did I say? Early in voting in person. Voting person Early begin- in person <laughs> in voting. person voting. <laughs> begins. I forgot. I don't, well. Anyway, I understood. Yes. <laughs> and January 5th is the election runoff. January so, 5th. January 5th. Okay. So please get out there get out and, there and vote. vote. Get out there and vote. Yes. Get out, get out there and vote. vote. This vote determines who will um, control, control the Senate. Who will the Senate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is... December 14th, early okay. in-person voting in begins. Person voting. I said it right this time. You did. I don't know what I said before. <laughs> like like when I did the praise and worship the last show. You know what? I was backwards. I said nobody didn't tell me I was backwards. I didn't even know I was backwards. I knew what you were saying. And she looked, I noticed how Nisi looked at me like, I'm like you should have <laughs> said something to me. You should have said something. Every tongue will bow and every knee will <laughs> shy confess. I should have cut that out. But anyway, that's what I say. Y'all know what I meant. I something just... balanced. Something... <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. So when you had that mix up, I should. <laughs> Ooh, I just look like. <laughs> mm. hmm. But anyway, mm. yes, laughter is the best medicine. Yes, it is. Ooh, yes, yes it goodness. Is. It is. So what are we going to do next? Would you well, let them know what we're about to do? Yes, yes, yes. You know, in light of um, this pandemic that we are experiencing Mm -hmm. each and every one of us. We are all in this together, every single one of us. The CDC is now, they suggested that we stay home, that we just have Thanksgiving dinner with our close family members who live in the home with you. Um, Mm -hmm. That that is their suggestion. Um, And also they suggest if you're going to have family, family members with you, use caution. Take their temperature, you know, um, distance as much as possible, or you can go outside Mm -hmm. and have your dinner. So that's what we're going to do. I'm I'm going to um, show you all. Yeah, we're going to go outside for a second, and I'm just going to put together a table, a Thanksgiving table, Mm -hmm. um, with some Dollar Tree items. Ooh, Dollar Tree has some good stuff. They have some good stuff. I find some good stuff yes, from Dollar Tree. Yes, And yes. when I find it, better buy it. I get them all. Mm-hmm. I sure do. And I tell people, I found this at the Dollar Tree. Yes. I went there. I didn't see it. That's because I you took it, it all. <laughs> so we will be back with our table, uh, with our outdoor table, table escape. The course escape. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, table decor. <laughs> what you say? Escape. Escape. Scape night. Now nah, nah, I'm trying not to run from nobody, but scape. Table scape. Table scape. We will be back. We'll be back. All right, we are back, and I am outside on my back porch about to do my Thanksgiving table scape. So, with main, with a lot of the um, items from the Dollar Tree, but this is a um, really nice tablecloth that I had from an event that we had years ago. So I'm gonna start it off with that. And I'm sure later on you can look at the different writings that it have on here. It's really nice. It has writings like um, sharing, family, blessings, gathering, harvest, really nice. So I start off with that. Now I'm going to start off with, I'm going to put on some of my Dollar Tree items. And here 
I don't want to break anything. These plate chargers, one dollar from the Dollar Tree. One dollar. The plates, Dollar Tree, one dollar. Now this is Thanksgiving dinner for two that I'm setting up outside. So this is something that you can do if it's just the two of you or if you have more um, family members coming, you can just set up some tables around there and put maybe two per table. So here's something that I made as a centerpiece. It's a nice little pumpkin. And I think I paid five cents for that, not from the Dollar Tree. And I just put some little leaves around it, use that as a simple centerpiece. Something, these apples, ceramic apples. And I'm just going to place it on there just for decorations. Nothing else. Place that on there and I have some more, like I'll add a little bit of green. And another one, add a little bit of white too. Just put that there. And also for your spoons, I have this little tray. You can put your spoons in it, or maybe you can put some mints or something in it. And we'll just put that on the table. We cannot forget the hand sanitizer, the Dollar Tree. And we'll just place it right over here. And of course, you know, with your desserts, you may have a lot of desserts, or maybe not, but these right here, like maybe some pudding, you can set that there. Not from the Dollar Tree, but something that you need. And last, I know I'm doing a lot of bending, for a little bit more decor, I have these. I purchased from the Dollar Tree as well, just to give it a nice little, add some definition to your table. So here you have it. This is my Dollar Tree tablescape for Thanksgiving for a nice outdoor Thanksgiving dinner. What do you think? Yes. Yes. Hope you enjoy that. Yeah. But before we go, we'd like to give you a word of inspiration. Yes. And um, you, you, I am talking to you, women, sisters, I'm talking to you. You are beautiful. You are blessed. You are precious. You are empowered. You are strong. You are creative. You are a breathtaking reflection yes, of are. what God has created you to be. And because of that, you are loved. And remember that you are enough. Yes, you are. You are enough. The scripture, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. That came from Psalm 139, 14. And remember to always inspire yourself. Yes. Don't wait for someone to inspire you. Mm -hmm. Inspire yourself. Be your own cheerleader. You, exactly. Yes. Because you are enough. That's right. You are, are enough. enough. Tell yes. yourself that every day in the mirror. Every day. I am enough. That's right. All right. That's right. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. But before we go, we do have some cake. Mine's and fell all over the place. But mm -hmm. to celebrate our birthday babies. And don't forget to like our YouTube page and subscribe to our YouTube page. And and we post our videos on um, the Golden Girls Club page on Facebook. Go ahead. Take a look at some of our videos. And we'll be back December the 5th with our next Golden Girls Let's Talk. And Angie B should be back. So yes. And still pray for her. Pray, pray for her family. Until then, bye-bye.